Hey everyone, welcome back. I thought today we'd take a look at these two capacitor testers that I use on the bench. Actually measure capacitance. What they measure are ESR, which is the equivalent series resistance, and that's for electrolytic capacitors, and the leakage tester for non-electrolytes. For capacitance, I've got a couple multimeters that measure capacitance. I have a, a cheap LCR meter that does a pretty good job. But none of those meters will actually talk about leakage or ESR. Um, ESR is a big deal with electrolyte capacitors. As they age, their resistance can go up. This tester is for testing leakage. And what this does is this is when capacitors start to look less resistive and leak current through them. So this is for electrolytes. It's for non-electrolytes. So let's let's look at the leakage tester first. Um, it's pretty simple. Really, it's like a continuity meter. Short the leads, light comes on. So basically, low resistance, the light comes on, and this will go down to three giga ohms. So you know the light will come on at up to three giga ohms. And if we look at the back, the testing is pretty simple. If you put the probes to the lead of your capacitor and the light's bright, it means the cap is shortage or has a high leakage. If the light never comes on, the capacitor is probably open or you have a bad connection. And if there's a bright flash and then the LED eventually becomes dim or dark, then it means that the capacitor is good. So it's pretty simple. So I've got some good capacitors and I've got some not so good capacitors. So, I'm going to break out the not-so-good capacitors here first. Let's look at some of these here. These are some old wax paper capacitors that came out of the vacuum tube voltmeter and vacuum tube signal generator that I have. Um, at the time, both units were working. But on testing these, I saw that they were not good and we wound up replacing them. So to test the capacitor, it's pretty simple. Touch the leads. Oop, let's do this over here. So let me, let me see if I can angle this a little bit better. There we go. So if we take this one, we touch the leads to it you can see the light is glowing dimly so this capacitor is leaky let's take a look at this one this one is very leaky also leaky I mean, I already know these are leaky, but just to show them, we'll go through the last one here. And this one's very leaky. So, without knowing exactly how much leakage there is, we know there's enough, and we would want to replace those. So let's look at a good capacitor. So here's a brand new film cap. And if we touch the leads here, we can see there was that initial bright flash and then the light dims down to off. If I take another film cap, this is a much smaller one. We can see it does the same until the light is off. So the time it's taking to, um, let me just discharge that. So the time it's taking for the light to dim is that's the capacitor charging. And let's just discharge that one. So that's this little unit. It's quick, does a good job. Uh, let's see here. Here's a little bit smaller film capacitor. We'll do just one more. 
and we see we had that flash and the light goes down. So no real magic, but it's pretty useful. So that's looking for leakage in non-electrolytes. Next thing we'll look at is the ESR meter. So the ESR meter has a little chart of uh, general values of for a given given electrolyte and its voltage range around what the ESR for that capacitor should be. And these values here are in ohms. So this is this is what the resistance is. So in essence, the ESR meter is a very low ohms resistance meter, whereas the other one, you know, will indicate even up to a very high resistance amount. So we'll look at this little board. I've got a couple of electro electrolytic capacitors up top here. So let me tell you what they are. So the first one here is 10 microfarads at 50 volts. So if we look at our chart here, 10 microfarads, we've got <clears throat> 35 and 63. So between 1.7 and 2, so somewhere in there would be a good range. It's reading 2.4. This doesn't mean it's bad. Um, ESR is also dependent on the manufacturer of the capacitor and whatnot, but you know, it's it's within it's within that ballpark. Um, we would probably consider this to be a good electrolyte. Uh, the next one is 100 microfarads at 25 volts. So if we look here, it's 100 at 25. It says, okay, an ESR of half, a, half an ohm. Point five one, point five two. It's perfect. No problem there. Final cap on here is 1,000 microfarads at 6.3 volts. So we can see 1,000 at 10, and it shows 0.1 ohms, and the 0.16, again, that's perfectly good. Not a problem there. So I mentioned that the ESR meter is basically a very low ohms voltmeter. So you can use it to read re just read resistors. So I have two resistors on this board here. Um, this is a 2 ohm resistor and behind it is a 0.47 ohm resistor. So if we look and read the 2 ohm resistor, we can see this comes up and it says 2 ohms exactly. And if we go behind it, you want the 0.47 ohm resistor, 0.46. So meter is accurate. And that's all the ESR meter does. Uh, there's nothing fancy about it, no settings, nothing, just this one you just turn it on, put the probes to the capacitor, read the value. Um, I'll pull in one last cap. This is an this is a made in Japan cosmic electrolyte capacitor uh, that I pulled out of one of the pieces of tube equipment. And let's just take a look and see. Let's see what this is like. So this is four microfarads at 250 volts. And we have 4.7 at 250. ESR 5 would be considered good. And this is down at 2. So this cap, um, I don't know how old it is. I never heard of Cosmic before. Um, but this is actually a good cap, at least from an ESR standpoint. So this is also good if you're, you know, if you're sorting through pulls that you've done from some equipment. Um, but primarily, you know, you know, cap, electrolyte caps are the first things, or well, maybe not the first things, but they're a common thing to go. And for electrolytes, you definitely want to check the ESR. Uh, there's an expanded version of this chart 
on the website where I got this. Um, this is a Bob Parker Blue 2 ESR meter um, manufactured by uh, EVB. Uh, Bob Parker's done a couple of versions of ESR meters. I think this is his, the latest one. Um, I like it because there's no settings. Like I said, you just turn it on, touch the probes, and you're good. Um, one thing that is interesting to note, the probes uh, have, it's hard to see here, but the, the tips are sanded a little bit. Uh, that's to get to the copper underneath the um, whatever the plating is on here, just to give a better lower resistance connection. Um, that's about it. You know, so these are two simple pieces of equipment that I, I use on the bench. Uh, both are worth having. This one is by um, by Cathode 8. That's the guy, I believe I got this on eBay. Um, I also believe it wasn't too, too expensive. But again, worth having. Um, like I said, in a pinch, it just makes a good continuity meter. So, you know, if you have this on your bench and you need to do a quick continuity check, uh, it's not going to beep, but it's very fast. All right, that's it. Like I said, another quick video. Questions, comments, leave them below. And, uh, See you all soon. Take care.